Hey everybody, this is Randy with Carchaeology, and another one of the Fabulous Five will be leaving us today. The Coronet RT is going on to its new owner, and I've got to tell you, this guy is so incredibly stoked to have this car. It's going to be fun to see him take delivery of it, and it's also going to be super fun to watch the revival of this car. Fortunately, he lives close, and he's promised to let us have access to what's going on there, and we might even lend a hand with some of the detailing when that time comes. So follow along on the departure of the 1970 Coronet RT 446 pack four speed. Off she goes. to go. What are your plans for this big boy? Well, I went to Walmart this morning and bought a case of primer. Best stuff they got. No, not really. No. <laughs> so um, what, what are you going to do with it? Basically, try and preserve as much as I can. Right. Maybe uh, touch in some of the green mm -hmm. to make it look, uh, you know, a little less faded out. But buff the sides out. Put a vinyl top on it, make the interior nice, make it run and drive good, drive it. Uh, probably put some Krager SS's on it. Right. And uh, since it kind of already has that day two vibe with the valve covers and headers, I'll probably just leave that stuff. Piss off the purists. Excellent. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's bitching. I, I think preserving as much as you can is going to be really fun with this car they are only original once and yep. and this one's got some character without well, a doubt everybody says oh it would take x amount to restore it but i think at some point it's not worth putting that into it because you know then after that nothing fits the same it's i don't know it's just kind of tampered with so well and i agree i mean you, you restore it and and then you lose all the history yep. i mean certainly some people love stuff restored and i get it and I like shiny things too, but, uh, 
I like both. And maybe at some point, maybe it'll go that route. But I'm curious to see what's under the surface rust and, um, you know, like I say, get a top on it, make the interior nice. Make it so my wife doesn't hate it. That's that's a big challenge with it looking the way it looks right now. <laughs> no, I think it's yeah. pitching, man. All right. Or fall fling. So you heard it here. The car will be at fall fling. Without a for sale sign in the window. All right. I'm going to go and check on that. People don't believe me. Right. But hopefully running. Driving. I do remember when you came on Sticker Shock, you said that you weren't going to sell the charger that, that, you, br that you brought on the <laughs> show. and. And like the moment you went home, you put it up for sale saying, as seen on TV, before the show even hit. That was pretty good, huh? I, that, was, <laughs> that was good. <laughs> no, it's awesome. All right. And there goes the coronet. A little sketchy with bald tires and pointing backwards. But it's going to have a really good home with Mike. I can't wait to follow along and see the progress with this one. Fortunately, he's close enough that I'll be able to do that and share some further information on that particular car with you guys later on. Thanks very much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't. And keep on watching these muscle cars come and go.